In this heartfelt tribute video, we remember the life and legacy of Trevor Francis, a football legend and Britain's first one million pound player. Join us as we take a journey through his remarkable career, reliving the moments that made him a true icon of the sport. From his early days at Birmingham City to his historic transfer to Nottingham Forest, we'll celebrate the achievements of this incredible athlete. Let's pay homage to Trevor Francis, whose impact on the game will forever be remembered. Trevor Francis, famed as Britain's first one million pound player, has died aged 69. He was born on April 2019, 1950 hour in Plymouth, England, and died on July 24, 2023. At the age of 69, he represented Birmingham City, Nottingham Forest, Manchester City, Rangers, QPR, and Sheffield Wednesday during his playing career. His net worth was estimated as approximately $5 million. The Three Lions icon passed away at his home in Marbella on Monday morning, having suffered a heart attack. A statement from his family said, Trevor Francis has died at the age of 69. He had a heart attack at his apartment in Spain this morning. On behalf of the family, this has come as a huge shock to everybody. We are all very upset. He was a legendary footballer, but he was also an extremely nice person. Francis spent half a year in Spain and the rest in Salahal. He suffered a heart attack 11 years ago and had kept himself fit with daily power walks. He had an annual health check through the League Managers Association and, according to his spokesman, was enjoying life very much having eventually got over the death of his wife. Helen passed away in 2017 after a battle with cancer. The ex-Birmingham City striker played 52 times for his country. Between 1977 and 1986, Francis joined Blues as a schoolboy and made his debut in 1970, aged just 16. His goal-scoring prowess was evident immediately, scoring 15 times in his debut season. In all, he would find the net on 133 occasions for Birmingham in 329 games across nine seasons. Legendary Nottingham Forest boss Brian Clough made Francis Britain's first one million pound player in 1979. And he would help Forest to back-to-back -to -back European Cups. A feat never since matched by an English side. Including scoring the winner in the first final against Malma. He left Forest for Manchester City in 1981, but for spells in Italy with Sampdoria and Atalanta. Francis returned to the UK in 1987 when he signed for Rangers, but spent just one season at Ibrox before departing for QPR, where he became player manager. He then signed for Sheffield Wednesday and took over as boss following the departure of Ron Atkinson leading the Owls to a third-place finish in the top flight in 1992. Francis then steered Wednesday to both cup finals the following season, where they were beaten twice by Arsenal. He hung up his boots in 1994 and was dismissed by the Hillsborough Club a year later. He then returned to St Andrews in 1976, spending five years as Blues boss, including leading them to the League Cup final in 2001. His final managerial appointment came at Crystal Palace, but he was sacked after a couple of seasons in charge. Internationally, Francis scored 12 times in his 52 appearances for England, including strikes against Czechoslovakia and Kuwait in the 1982 World Cup. Gary Lineker led the tributes to Francis, Posting on Twitter, deeply saddened to hear that Trevor Francis has died. A wonderful footballer and a lovely man. Was a pleasure to work alongside him both on the pitch and on the telly. Rip Trevor. Nottingham Forest was among his former clubs to pay tribute. Posting, we are deeply saddened to learn the passing of two-time European Cup winner, Trevor Francis. A true Forest legend who will never be forgotten.
Birmingham City, where Francis began his playing career, said, Blues are deeply saddened and shocked to learn of the passing of club legend. Trevor Francis, at the age of 69 on Monday, July 24, 2023. Trevor will forever be revered as a giant of the club, the player everyone wanted to see. He represented the Blues on 330 occasions, scoring 133 goals. We send our thoughts and deepest sympathies to Trevor's family and friends. Rangers posted, all at Rangers Football Club Bar today saddened to hear of the passing of our former player Trevor Francis at the age of 69. Our thoughts are with his family at this difficult time. Sheffield Wednesday said, we are deeply saddened by the passing of Trevor Francis. Our thoughts are with Trevor's family and friends at this incredibly difficult time. Manchester City added, Manchester City are deeply saddened at the passing of our former player Trevor Francis. Our thoughts are with Trevor's friends and family at this difficult time. Peter Shilton, who played with Francis for Forrest and England, posted, I'm absolutely devastated to hear about my old teammate Trevor Francis, such a wonderful gentleman, a friend, and a terrible loss. Former Sheffield Wednesday and England teammate Viv Anderson wrote on Instagram, Just heard the unbelievable news regarding Trevor Francis. He was such a wonderful person and fabulous teammate he will be sadly missed. My condolences go to his family and friends rip. Close friend and former ITV presenter Gary Newbin told the Nottingham Post, I was staggered when I heard the news. I've known Trevor since he was a nervous 16-year-old. He was the boy they all wanted to sign, and he signed for Birmingham in the end. Ron Atkinson marked his home debut when he was 16 against Oxford at St Andrews, and he scored the goal. I've known him all his life and followed him up here by coincidence when I joined IDV. He was quite a private guy. Great footballer, with a good sense of humor, mad at his music. The last time I saw him we had dinner at San Carlo and went to see Rod Stewart at the Utilito Arena. As we bid farewell to Trevor Francis, we do not mourn a loss. Instead, we celebrate a life well lived. A life that touched the hearts of millions and brought joy to fans around the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey to remember Britain's first one million pound player, Trevor Francis. May his spirit forever remain in the hearts of football enthusiasts everywhere. If you enjoyed this tribute to Trevor Francis, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more inspiring content like this. Share your favorite memories of Trevor in the comments below. Until next time, stay passionate, stay dedicated, and keep the love for the beautiful game alive.